coming to me at the hair. I pray all is well with you. In this video, I'm going to do a simple um, art journaling video um, for some art therapy. I haven't done an art therapy video in a while. Um, I have been doing um, art therapy, but I just haven't been like recording everything that I'm doing. So, um, to start... What I thought to do was to show a little bit of some old pages. It's like some art journaling. Um, and as you can see, it's some backgrounds I haven't done anything on. So I want to show a little bit of that. You know, it's like these are not hard techniques at all. Oh, that's a piece of brad. Well, I need to put something there to cover that. But eventually I'll come back here and do something. So, you know, sometimes I just did backgrounds. Um, I really like this right here, but you see right here now, I know for a fact that this is a little, uh oh, it's coming up. Hold on y'all one minute because it was closed for so long. The buck here. So it kind of like moved that little butterfly, but I know, um, how to fix something like that. So. But I really prefer that that don't happen. Okay. Oh, okay. I was able to get it up. Hmm. Let me put a little bit of tape on it. It was over here. At some point, I'll probably go back in. I'll mod podge that. Or something. Not mod podge it because I learned don't. That's not the best thing to use when you're going to be closing something. Because it will stick together unless you put some baby powder or something to, you know, buffet that. Um, right here. See, I didn't do anything on the background yet. Nothing on the background here yet. This is one of my favorite pages in this book. Oh, my goodness. Because it's like, you know, the heart is so sad and crying. And this one is saying, don't worry, you'll smile again. And you see, the this is like this, like that. When I put the highlight, it's like almost like a frown. And this one is smiling. But, you know, extending comfort. Yeah. And so, um, and then I made this page here. Okay. this I did this page here to do some writing. Um, but I'm not, I didn't, I'm not forcing it. It's dear father, God, I love you. And then I put a sticker here, but, um, and I use paint, a stencil. Um, but I'm not going to write here until I'm released to, um, right here. No more hiding. I really like this here. Something I, I yeah, I drew this and then, you know. Um, but no more hiding. I was thinking about that scripture. You know, no one um, puts a lamp um, stand under the bushel. So I was thinking about that. And then background, background over here for some more writing. Um, I had skipped some pages too. Right here for some more writing. You know, sometimes I just like making a background and leaving a space to write. Um, so, yeah, I was going to do something in here. I was like, oh, when I, I was like, I'm going to go to this page. But, um, I think I want to go in here. So, I had showed me putting this lace in here some time ago. And, um, I did some, a little bit of journaling in here. Oh, what's this? Oh, I meant to cover that up on purpose. I think, let me see, let me just take it off here. Yeah, that's something. Okay. And then right here, it's a page here that I just cannot stand. And um, I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to have to do something to it. Because I'm not going to rip it out because then I'll rip out this and I don't. But sometimes I just lay down color, right? Or stenciled something. Did some page prep, but there is a page I do want to use. So this right here is really messy because I cleaned the brush. 
I cleaned the brush with this. But this is um what I want to use. I don't think I use a stencil for this. I think I freehand this. But remember I said something very simple? Because sometimes that's all it needs to be is simple. You know, sometimes you just have a product and you want to use it. And, yeah, just use it. So, I have this stencil here. And, uh, I think what I'm going to do is come on over here I, and just put it like this. I want to make it very simple. Okay. Uh, right here. And, um, I don't think I want to use the, um... What do you call it? The pixie spray. I don't feel like using that. So I'm going to take a piece of this mint tape. I'm going to use the mint tape. And I'm going to come over here because I do think I want to put this thankful down here at some point. Um, move down just a little bit. Well, maybe I'll just have to do this because, yeah. And so, I have this Creative Devotion. It's like a marker pen. So, I'm going to actually go in to the stencil. And see? See how simple? Very... I'm just going to have all these words on this page. And, um. To me, that's fun. All these positive words. I got this from the Dollar Tree. I am going to use something else that's coming to mind when I'm done with this. I'm not going to do Imagine because... It's going to go into the leaf. So. I'm going to have to move over Imagine and Family. Because then it's going to go into... that leaf over there. I am going to do thankful over here. That's a stencil, so if you go on it, you can wipe it, always wipe it off, you know? And I know there's a chance that this marker, it may do some bleed. Oopsie. It may do some. I see it already. Yeah. I see how it. Well, no, I don't. I think that's on top of it. That may not be what happened. Maybe it looked like it, but it's not actually. We shall see. But I do have something just in case that happens. This is getting on my hand. I'm going to have to dry it. Let me see if that went underneath. It sure did. All right, it's okay. I don't know what to do. But yeah. I have an idea for that. It's kind of smudgy. Great. 
Mm-hmm. I am gonna move the stencil so I can get all the words that's on this stencil here. Oh, you know what? I may could just go over that. I may could just go there because, yeah, I'll probably give it some interest. Now, I think if I would have used a Sharpie, this would have been much cleaner than it is because it's messy underneath. But I'm going to welcome the challenge to fix it. Okay, so let me move that up. It's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Okay. Even though the thankful look kind of really messy, but we got something for that. Okay, so you know what I want to do now? I'm going to dry this a bit. Oh, it's going to drier now. Oh, here it goes. Heat, well, heater, heat, heating tube. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a I'm gonna I am gonna get um let me get a black sharpie I can find one um I should have probably used that to begin with but that's okay uh, it happens and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here it's so funny I think it's the paper. It's, it's the, it's the, um, it's the paper. It's the, it's the, um, yeah, because, yeah, the way that I, I it's, it feels underneath this. But see, what I'm doing now is I'm making these letters fatter because even it's a, it's messy, but that's my way of fixing it. So it's not the same size as the stencil. And I may have to come in with a um what is it? A um some paint. But the whole thing is to have fun. That's my mom's concern right now. Over here. Even if the letters are not really messed up, I'm still doing something to it because um, it's going to be smaller than the other ones. And I don't want that. I'm going to see if I can, I have another marker too that I'm going to try in a minute. I'm surprised that's happening with this Sharpie. I think because this Sharpie is old. And this, this page has been, can you feel it? This page has been um, painted for over a year. So it's not like it's not cured. In frame, yeah. Okay, so I have this also from. I got this a while ago from Dollar Tree. Let's see how this works on here. Mhm. Mm 
Okay. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, that is a lot, that's a lot better. So I've been um working on the series that I want to do and um I'm trying to put it together um a little better than I normally do and um I'm trying to do some of the ideas that I have in mind before I come on camera. Because sometimes what I'll do is if I have an idea, I'll try it out and record it at the same time. But this time around, it was on my heart, like, why don't you do some of the techniques before you get on and show, like, a finished copy and then... Or... Um, Show it well, no, show it before because that's a little different than um, something else I was thinking about. Um, with the elements, yeah, no, this one I would have to show before, but I still did want to try it out first, so um, and since I've done that, I should say. There's some little things, any little nuance, nuances that um, I came across, I could share and say, well, you know, this is something that you want to think about. But for the most part, it's for easy, easy, quick journaling. So it's not like a whole lot of nuances. Okay, so I just fixed that, even though it looked messy. You know, and it still has like a rugged look, but I like that. So, um, but if you don't want no a rugged look, then you may want to, um, consider when you are going through the stencil, if you're going to use a stencil and, um, you know, this. So, um... And then it got some little nicks on some of the letters. And I don't want to um, go around and fuss with it. I don't like this right here. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to be bothered with that. So I'm going to leave it looking a little bit messy like that. I could always come back at a later date and um you know, fix that. I could also get something, something, some paint and splatter too. And that would, um, you know, give an effect like, oh, I meant to do that or, you know, something like to that degree. So now I'm going to come in and do a little bit of outline on these leaves here. And I'm not doing a neat outline. I'm doing a scraggly line, um, scraggly outline. Okay. I'll put like some lines to give it some, some type of details. And so I have a whole blank bottom. And what am I going to do with that? Um, if nothing comes to mind, I'm going to leave it into another time. I'm not going to force it. Because I can always come back. And why is that looking like that? Okay, so I'm going to have to make some defining lines because it looks like 
that got messy. She's playing and I, my niece is taking her nap. Put your feet down, Lyra, and go to sleep. I'm looking at her on the, on the baby monitor. that oh I'm liking that a lot and um I think I really would like a different color on here I have these sparkle pop pens I'm kind of nervous let me see I don't want it to mess it up but I think I want a pop of green on there I'm gonna see Okay, this is the new one. Okay, I have this one that's almost finished. So let me see what will happen. Um, let me come right here. Okay. Um, it can't it flowed out nicely, but you know, sometimes that happens at first. And then I don't know if you can see that, but and I'm just gonna do a little bit on the left side I'm not gonna do it on like the inside um this is the left side so I gotta stay consistent because sometimes I get on turned around when I'm doing this type of like lining um Okay. Oh boy, the left side. So this would be, oh, did I do? Yeah, that's the left side. So if I turn this this way, this would be the left side too. Um. Yeah, so let me do this right here. I'm going to put this pop of green. And again, I don't want it to be like perfect. I don't want it to be all over the place, but I don't want it to be like too, too, too neat. Because once, start doing that, then I'm gonna have to make sure everything is in alignment because then it's going to look crazy. And sometimes I do do that, because I do notice sometimes I can be a bit meticulous with some things. And if I feel like it's going to drive me bonkers, I can't do it. Okay. So... You see, this is a like a real simple. And they'll just have like a little pop of green. A little, little pop. And it's actually helping with that. Those little extra messy, messy bits. Yeah, I think after I do the video, I'm going to do the intro to the, um,
to the series. I was going to do, you know, um, the intro and do a first video. But I think I'm going to do it as a, like, journal with me and tell the items that will be needed for the videos. See, but the only thing is with that, I cannot say when I'm going to do like the video like oh every week i'm going to upload i'm not going to make that promise i'm not going to make that vow because honestly i don't know um i just not i'm just not comfortable um in this season saying i'm gonna do that and then no because see the whole thing is like on my plan was to do a video Thursday. That wasn't happening. I looked at how my body felt. And I said, nope. No can do. I need to do what I need to do in this house here. And call it a night. Now, I did do some journaling. I even did, I even did some... Um, yeah, I did do some um, Bible journaling, creative Bible journaling, but I didn't, um, I didn't, oh, look, I got to do this. I didn't do, record no video. So once I've been posting on Instagram a lot, it's been on my heart to post on there a lot. And, um... Okay, Lord, should I share what I was, what was on my heart? Oh, that other thing? No. Okay. Yeah, so, but, um, I have been posting on Instagram a whole lot this week. A whole lot. And, um, basically, if it's on my heart to post something, I don't overthink it. Because I know me, um... I'll, I'll talk myself out of it. And so, if I believe that the Lord say do it, I just do it and just, then that's it. I'm not going to, that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and post it. I'll post it. Because you never know, like, and my page is public, so... You know, anybody could go in there any time and get some encouragement. That's one thing about when your page is public. It's not, um, it's not only, it's not only for the people that follow you. Anybody could come on there and see it. And I like that. Because I don't put anything too personal up there. Um, I don't put too much of my, um, I put a couple of family pictures up there and I used to be more, um, with the, those kind of pictures, but in like what's going on in my fam family's life or like, you know, things that, um, you know, are intriguing to people as far as personal life is concerned. But, um, I haven't put much of that up, um, also, too, because with my family, it's like I feel like on some degree, like I have to be careful because maybe a family member doesn't want me, you know, vocalizing something. And then, you know, I don't put their stuff out there. And so I try to, I realize that um, it may not be the best thing for me. Um, you know, but I will put like recently I put a picture of my husband and I up there. Um, I do not put pictures of my my niece up there, and quite frankly, I realize I don't have to. You know, 
I, even for my birthday, I asked my daughter, please, please do not, do not. She said, mommy, please, you know, please. I said, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Don't, please, no, uh-uh. I said, you send, you send me what you want to send me. So I, I do it for her because she likes that. But next year, I'm not, I'm just going to do my, I love you and tributes privately. I just don't feel, because to me, it's a lot of pressure to do that stuff. Or put up my anniversary. I'm like, I can't keep it with that. Let me just put what's on my heart to put up there. I'm not going to be, me and my husband discussed that before. And I'm not saying anything is wrong with it. It's just not for me, not that part and not to say it never won't be again because i've done it shout out to my husband you know and it's just a to me it's a lot of it's a, to me sometimes it feels like a lot of pressure and it ain't nobody saying that you have to do it but it's almost like if you have a certain like certain like um style but you know the bottom line is that we don't have to put nothing up there that we don't want to you know, we really don't. If God ain't, you know, if God ain't put it on your heart to do it, you don't have a peace with doing it, you don't have to do it. You know? And if God put it on your heart to do it and you have a peace to do it and you enjoy doing it, then do it. You know? And if that's what people want to do, don't hate on them. Let them do what they want to put up there. You know, if I see something ungodly, I just start praying. And then, also to know the difference between secular and worldly. Somebody put something up there that's secular and they're a Christian, leave them alone. I'm being legalistic. Now, if it's worldly, get to praying. But if it's secular, somewhere over the rainbow, that's a secular song. It's not evil. It's not wicked. You know, so. Okay, so that's that for that. It is kind of messy over here. But let me leave it alone before I make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Next thing you know, it's going to be a hot mess. Then I'm going to have to make everything look bigger. And even though I don't mind being a little messy, I don't want it to look bugged out to me so let me see something here because i don't even know if you can see that that green here but you can probably see it now Ooh, la, 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 la. looky looky it's so pretty oh my goodness i love it that pop of green did it wonders right look at that oh my goodness oh i need to take a picture when it's like that yeah, I will do that at some point. So, what about down here? Uh, nothing is coming to mind. Oh, God. The mosquito bit me, y'all. I'm all scratching my arm in the camera. Yeah, um, that thing scratched me. So, this book, um, it got some words in it. It's not a bad book because it's, um, it's actually a book this man talking about, um, the 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 sin the evilness of um war and for certain things and, and it got some words on it i think will pop out and just be like oh if somebody read it out of context um be like what in the world is that and so you know sometimes i feel so funny about um certain pages showing like here if you look you could see like certain words but you know it's words in context it's yeah but there's not the person saying anything bad it's just that you got to know the context in which they're saying it but yeah i think that's going to be it for this art therapy video so it's very simple remember i said a stencil and then i use after the stencil i use um, I used a stencil, I used a pen, and I used this sparkle pot. And also, we see that, uh, oh yeah, and I used that other pen. Where did I put that other pen at? I just put it back. Where did I put that other pen? It's, it's somewhere. It's somewhere here. 
um, hold on one second. I do want to find it because I want to make sure that I'm not putting stuff where it don't belong. Okay. Um, I, I did put it back where it belonged. Um, I thought maybe it was on the dresser, but I'm trying to, especially the pens, because my pens get, um, it's easy for them to be in the wrong pile. And um, I don't like that. It makes it um, difficult for me to find stuff. Um, I have this 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 organizer, this like um, craft organizer, and I put the pens um, organized in there. So like, if it's like certain kind of markers, put them together and stuff like that. Um, certain kind of pens. So, I think I'm going to put a blast of heat on this. I'm not going to close this for a while because I don't trust that. I don't trust that it's not going to um smudge. I think I better... Okay, so just that quick, something came to mind. <laughs> I was lingering, and then it was like, okay, something came to mind to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. And this is what just came to mind to put some lines. Just that quick. And um, so I'm going to do that with this pen here. See, I like when I don't force it and then something comes because then I feel good about it. But if I'm just trying to fill up the page, usually what ends up happening, it just does not come out right. Because I'm uncomfortable with the white space. All the, even if it's not white space, but empty space. But so now, um, hold on one minute. It's not to say that, hold on, there's something right here. Let me get this right here. Yeah, I got to make sure that dry. I could tell. Um, now, what I wish I would have did was bring those lines all the way over here. So, I think... What I'm gonna do is put this back. I'm playing with fire with this now. Put this, put this back. Mm hmm Like right here. That's what I'm gonna do. And do this. Hold on, let's see. Make sure I don't wanna smudge nothing. Okay. So I'm gonna go here. Right here. Okay, come on. Then right here. Right here. Oh boy. I don't think it's gonna be that hard, that easy to tell if it's a little bit off. No, that's not bad at all. Okay, so, and even I could do this, look. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not that bad at all. Okay. Yeah. And because by the time I write, it's not going to be that noticeable. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I just like the way that that's doing that. Okay, so that's it. That's it for now. So with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.